Hi, it's Mona McClellan here, and I'm at the M2 Wealth Conference in Las Vegas with my friend Deanna Latson. Deanna Latson is a nutritional educator, and she has become a mentor of mine um, and a friend. I've followed her over the last few years, and her specialty is helping people figure out um, how they can become healthier by following some really pretty simple common sense type things. And I just wanted to share with us um, a couple of those things that you could do to help yourselves uh, be healthier in your lives and share with your families. Could you do that together? Sure. I mean, I think um, first and foremost is to stop believing what most people believe. Most people be walk around today believing because food is on the shelf, it is safe for you. You know, they believe that, oh, there's a governing agency out there that totally watches over us and, um, and that everything that goes out there is safe. Well, that's just not the truth. So becoming a conscious label reader and understanding what's in your food can play a critical role in your long-term health. Because if you don't know what's in that food, you should be making different choices. And what most people don't understand is 70% of what ails us today, whether it's heart disease, cancer, acne, bad energy, um, bad digestion is directly related to what we consume. So we should know what is in the food that we're eating. And when we become aware of that, we'll make better choices. I think that's the first and foremost thing people should do, you know, is just become aware. Become conscious. Don't believe on the outside of a label just because it says healthy that it's healthy. Because I can make a Snickers, name a healthy Snickers, and there's no regulation on that. And you'd be led to believe that it was a better product. So start to read your labels, start to know what's in your food, you know, um, some things that you really want to try to avoid is your artificial colors and flavors and your hydrogenated oils. You do that, you'll be better off than 90% of the people walking out there today. So, You know, we were just talking and someone came by and she said after she heard Deanna talk, she went home and threw out her microwave, which I've done as well. And do you want to just talk, talk just a little bit about that? Well, quick? I mean, sure. I mean, even the way we prepare food, you know, obviously food in its whole natural state is the best for you. It has the most nutrients in it. Microwaves just happen to be one of those things that pretty much take everything that's great out of a food um, and they destroy it. You know, there's nothing left great in a food once you microwave it. So I don't, I see no, no use for a microwave whatsoever in a home. Um, it's one of those things that most people overcook all their restaurants. I mean, once you put it in the microwave, you can be rest assured that all the vitamins and nutrients are gone. Well, you know what? And I sure saved on counter space. Yeah, there you <laughs> go, right? Microwave is gone. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, you've been a great inspiration to me, and you've been a great inspiration to my, my daughter, specifically my eight-year-old daughter. And I know you have a beautiful eight-year-old daughter named Melissa. And for, for women who are watching, if you could just give a couple of, of, of tips or hints on Sort of what inspired you to get, get to, to, to make a life of inspiring other people, to become an entrepreneur, to um, get out there and change your life and change others? Well, I mean, I, I think a big part of health is not just what you put in your body, but who you surround yourself with and also what you do. And to be able to wake up every day and love what you do is fantastic. And you know, and women are obviously becoming more empowered. The glass ceiling is growing taller. All those things happen to be going away in our generation. And they continue to get better. And like this year, we had a woman running for president. You know, there's lots of women are making many strides in business. But um, there are many less uh, female entrepreneurs than male entrepreneurs in this country. You know, you find what you love, and when you do, when you're able to live every day in your passion, it's super easy to make money <laughs> because you have the energy to go out and do it every day. You know, so I encourage women all the time to figure out what it is, and maybe it is working for someone else. But if it's not, and you have dreams about becoming an entrepreneur, stepping out, you know, then take them. You know, I was fortunate. I was raised in a family where my father was an entrepreneur, you know, and I was at a very young age running our business. So then my entire life, I, I, I didn't see myself working for someone else. I saw myself controlling my life, and I, that's what I want to do. I feel very grateful for it, and I think it plays into my health as well. So, so women or men, if you need to have more energy for your life, get into your cupboard, get into your fridge, read the ingredients, um, get rid of the stuff that's going to weigh you down and um, slow you down. Um, you'll have more energy to be able to find passion for what it is you really want to do, even if it's what you're doing now. Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, Deanna, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I, I adore you. You're a wonderful mentor, and I certainly appreciate it.
appreciate it. No, thank you, thank you.